Okay, let's talk about prime factorization. What exactly is prime factorization? I mean, it just we're just trying to break down numbers into the products of their prime factors. Okay, so there are two ways which we, we can do this. Okay, the first way is you know, the tree method. Okay, and the second will be the division method. So both ways are actually okay. It's it's, it's now it's that it depends on your choice. Now with the tree method, I think the tree method gives allows you to be much more flexible. Okay, so let's start with let's say number one. So we have twenty four. Now the question you can, you can do like this. Hmm, what two numbers can you multiply to get twenty four? You don't have to it, it, now. It, it doesn't have to be a prime number. Prime number. Just think. It can be any numbers. Okay, we can have six and four, um, twelve and two. Have six and four, twelve and two, three and eight. It's kind of your choice. Okay, but let's go for because I mean having the one with the prime factor makes it easier. But let's go for three and eight. Okay. Three times eight. So for th three is already a prime number, so we don't have to break it down any any further. Let's go to eight. What two numbers can we multiply together to get eight? Well, that's simple. Two times four. Okay, two is a prime number. There's no need to break it down any further. How about four? Four is not a prime number. We can still break it down into two times two and do we have any other things to break down no we don't have anything else to break down okay everyone then we bring out the prime numbers to get out so we have three two 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 okay we can write just three times two times two times two although some people you know two comes before three, okay, so we press write as two times two times two times three. Now to make it look cleaner, we can even express this in index form because this is two times two times two. We can take it as two to the power of three times three. And just like that, we've been able to um, break down 24 into the product of its prime prime factors. So at the end, 24 becomes two to the power of three times three. Okay, so what if we decided to not to, okay, let's say we decided not to use eight and eight and three here. Okay, let's say we just decided to use six and four. Do we get the same answer? Let's try. Okay, I don't want to break down 24 into three times eight. Let's see, let, me, let me use six and four. Do we get the same answer? Okay, so six times four or four times six, your choice. Now, six is not a prime number, four is not a prime number. It means we can still break this down. So what numbers can we multiply together to get six? Two times three. Okay, how about four? Two times two. Okay, and if we combine everything together, two times three times two times two. So we can just rearrange it so that, you know, like the two comes first. So this will be two times two times two. Then we can move this three to the left to the end times three. It's the same thing we have here. So either way, we're always going to get the same answer. It's just about um just about you know being flexible knowing that okay you're still going to break this down make sure you break it down until you get to just keep breaking it down until you you get to a prime number and don't use one okay just like if i say 24 if i, if I say this same thing as one times 24 i mean Technically, yes, but you've not actually broken down this 24. You're still at 24, you're stuck. So don't use one times anything. Don't, I mean, don't do that. Okay, start with two times, three times, or, you know, just try to be, <laughs> try to be flexible. Let's put this as, where's that X? 
just plug an X here. No, wrong. Okay, how about the division method? Now the division method is still flexible, but a lot, I um, the thing about division, let's try with 50 now. The thing about division method is, okay, we draw a line here. This is 50. Hmm. Next thing, we start looking what prime number. Okay, now for this division method, it's important that we use prime numbers. You mean like what numbers can we, or what prime numbers can divide 50? So we start with maybe the common ones. The common prime numbers we have a three, five, three, two, three, five, seven, eleven. Just going for so two can divide. 50 yeah so 50 divided by 2 is 25 okay what prime number you know can divide 25 5 25 divided by 5 is 5 so 5 itself is a prime number so let's just I get to 1 so 5 divided so what do we divide by 5 to get 1 so 5 divided by 5 is 1 Okay, so this will be two times five times five. And we can express this as five to the power of two. So this becomes two times five to the power of two. So when you're using the division method, you want to use prime numbers. Okay, you want to use prime numbers because if you don't, it's, okay, let's say, all right, let's say we decide not to use prime numbers. Let me, let's look at it, 50, what can what can divide 50? 25 can divide 50, yeah, 25. Uh, 50 divided by 25, that's two. Okay, two divided, um, two is a prime number. What can we divide, um, so I'm saying, it can only divide itself in one, so that's be two. Now we're left with 25 times two. So we still haven't, Express 25 is not a prime number here. So, you know, we still haven't broken down 50. Okay. So when you when you're using the division method, you will want to use prime numbers directly. You don't wanna okay, unless now I cannot decide to use the tree, the tree method. 50 okay is 25 times two. Two is a prime number, you can stop. Break this down into five times five. Now we have five times five times two. You can rearrange it if you want as two times five times five. This would be same thing as two times five to the power of two. So the answer is more or less the same. 96, 96, let's see 96. Now, personally, I always prefer the trim, the, 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 the trim. Um, for my me personally, I prefer the tree method because it allows you to be flexible. But you can see the um. Let's use both. Okay, ninety six. Hmm. What numbers can we multiply together to get ninety six? Uh, I would say. Hmm. 6 times 16 comes into mind. Okay, 6 times 16 isn't bad. 6 times 16. Um, we also have, I think I use 4 times 24 too. Or you can see use, you know, um, use 2 times 48 if you want to start with. So let's Mm, I'm just gonna pick six times. I I like. Let's see. I'll pick. Oh, what did I just write? Four times twenty-five. No, twenty-four. Oh my god. Okay, so let's see six times sixteen. Okay, so both are not prime numbers, so we can break down six into two times three. 
Okay, two and three are prime numbers, so I think we can stop here. How about 16? We can break down 16 to two times eight, four times four. But let's just say two times eight, so that there's more space. Okay, so we can stop at two. We can break down eight into two times four. Or stop at two, we can break four down into two times two because now we have lots of you know twos and threes so so how do you so the best way is just you know start with the lowest number and circle how many twos we have so we have one two three four five okay so that'll be two times two times two times two times two or you can say that as two to the power of five and then we have one three here three times three so 96 can be expressed as two to the power of five times three okay all right two to the power of five times three if we are going to use the long the division method so you're about my, it's 96. You can start with two. What's 96 divided by two? Okay, we always start with, you always use a prime number. That would be 48, okay. What is 48 divided by two? That is 24. 24 divided by two, that is 12. Um, 12 divided by two, that is six. Sorry, six divided by two, that is three, and three itself is a prime number, so you can only divide one on itself. So we can just do three divided by three is one. So let's see one, two, three, four, five. So that's two to the power of five times three. The answer is more or less the same. Now we have this 210. Let's see if we can do this 210. It's a big number, but now, when you have big numbers, like this, I would say sometimes also use prime, at least one of them should be a prime number so that you know you have more, more, more space to work with. Okay, 210, I can split this into hmm, 105 times 2, 2 times. 105, 105 times two should give me. Yeah, 105 times two should give me 210, yeah. Okay, so I think two is a prime number, so we can stop here. How about 105? Okay, I can see from here, 105 come divided by three. If you add one plus zero plus five, that's six. So this means that this number here is divisible by three. So, um. This will be 105 times, um, three times, um, 35. Okay, so three is a prime number. You can see we've, we've gotten down to 35 very fast. Now, 35, we can split this down into five times seven. Both are prime numbers. So we have two times three times five times seven. Two times three times five times seven. I think that's why I like the true method. It, like I said, it allows you to be flexible. Okay, so two times three times five times seven, we can check. Um, two times three is um, six. Six times five is 30, 30 times seven, three times seven is 21. So with this zero here, you have 210. So we're correct. And that's just prime factorization in, in, in a nutshell. If you have any, 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 any questions, please put them in the comments. I offer free lessons maybe once a week. If you have any questions, just reach out to me. Any math concept you don't understand from one, two, three, to calculus. I got you. All right, so thank you and have a nice day.